This morning's Mass will be the Mass for In Time of Pandemic. Truly the Lord has borne our infirmities and has carried our sorrows. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate these most sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to health care workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth among all nations, your salvation. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, God, let all, let all the, nations the nations praise you. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him. For I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him, the word that I spoke. It will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own. But the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, certainly uh, we're all for familiar with the song, uh, This Little Light of Mine, right? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And when you hear it, if you're like me, depending on what kind of mood you're in, you're like, oh, how annoying. I can't stand that song. What a horrible song. Or you might, it might be somewhat hard, like, oh, yeah, I know that song really, really well. That's a great song. And uh, let's face it. Uh, that song has been around for a long, long time. And uh, it, it just never seems to lose its, its power to emote some sort of emotion in us. And I think uh, songs ultimately endure, first of all, because they're catchy. And then it's the message behind them. Uh, there's a message that uh, we all just, it's a profound truth. Like the Rolling Stones, I can't get no satisfaction. Ain't Ain't that the truth? We just never can. We try and we try and we try. Nothing satisfies us. Nothing that the world has to offer satisfies. That's a profound truth and that's a very popular song. But back to this little light of mine. I think one of the, the profound truth in there is that ultimately by virtue of our baptism, you and I are called to be light when we're challenged by God to allow our lights to shine. So uh, during these dark days, during these challenging days, ask yourself, have I been light or have I sort of been succumbing to the darkness and then fueling the darkness with my negative outlook? Certainly uh, the last thing that we really need is another deep freeze in May. You know, it's like, when is it going to get warm? When is it going to be warm? Deacon Keith, how many times is he going to take the lid off and on his Jeep? The lid, the roof, I mean, on and off of his Jeep, you know? It's almost like a torture, you know? And, and we can really succumb to that negativity like it's never going to get warm again. And so uh, I think for all of us as we enter into this spiritual community, and we pray for all those, including ourselves, who have been affected by the pandemic this morning, uh, as we will continue to do every Wednesday, by the way. I think every Wednesday, I think it'll be nice to do the Mass for in times of pandemic, just to continue to ask the light of Christ to shine on us for healing as we continue to hopefully move forward through these difficult times. Might you and I remember that we are children of God, that we are bearers of the light, and we are called to allow that light to shine before all. And confident that Jesus truly is our light and that he is constantly guiding us towards him, we cry out to him with these, our needs. For the church, may the joy of the gospel inspire us as missionary disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all elected leaders and their advisors, may the wisdom and peace of Christ inspire them in legislating and leading their people justly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
or the sick in mind, body, or spirit. May Christ the healer touch them through the hands and presence of a friend today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God grant courage for its members to proclaim the word of God with love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they be welcomed into eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Diane Hollingsworth, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we offer you these our prayers and petitions, and we ask that if it be your will that you grant them. But only if it be for our benefit and for your greater glory, we ask this and all things in the name of Jesus, your Son, who is our Lord, our Savior, our light, and our salvation. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you've received, we've received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of all of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in, in the, the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Spirit, Lamb of, Lamb of God. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. Our prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. 
Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. O God, who from, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.